Electricity in Europe has been pretty turbulent. People have been making noise on this energy crisis thing by doing the one thing that they are really good at. Napoleon will be disappointed. But one country in the midst of this region has been experiencing the highest electricity prices with little to no noise. The very underrated Italy. Italy is so low-key that they have already won four World Cups before Germany did and also before France got their second World Cup. Looking at Italy's electricity prices from before COVID, during COVID, before the Russian gas crisis, Wait, I feel like the word crisis has been so overused these days. Is that the trick to the YouTube algorithm? Just slap the word crisis on it and let it rip? Okay, okay, come back, come back. Before the Russian gas thingy and after the Russian gas thingy has stabilized, Italy has always had the most expensive electricity in Europe. Is that why Prada, Gucci and Armani is so expensive? Because of the different sauce? Is that why gelato overpowers regular ice cream? made in Italy? More like made with expensive electricity. So is that really why all the stuff in Italy is more expensive? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and believe that Da Vinci in They never say no. To understand why Italiano electricity is so expensive more, we need to first understand what goes into the electric bills. The main components are generation cost, transmission costs, and taxes. Yes, Italian electricity has a 15% tax on it. The Italian government needs it to do great stuff. Imposta sui valore aguinto. Italy has one of the highest electricity taxes in Europe. Tax on electricity prices is a bit tricky because when they design the tax percentage on electricity prices, one would assume a stable value for the price of electricity, not the electricity prices surging up like mad. Now imagine ending another 15% on that inflated price. I guess Italy has learned a thing or two from America. That is the real danger of taxing commodities and basic needs. If the prices goes up, the taxes will bring in extra revenue for the government to spend on healthcare or something productive. This also puts the government in a situation where electricity prices can't be too low because 10% of 100 bucks is a lot more than 10% of 10 bucks. Your commission. Thanks a lot. Your share, mogul. While the Italian government has approved huge sums of money to assist electricity consumers, this is all technically a hoax. Let me explain why. This 5.4 billion assistance is not the Italian government going to the bank, taking out cold hard cash, to wait for you at the billing counter and then contribute to your electricity bills. It is just reducing the amount of tax that the government is charging on consumers on super inflated prices. Oh yes, uh, let's cut the tax rate by half on the prices that increases tenfold to show that we care. Then someone still ends up with a buttload of cash that was slightly higher than expected. And then they put here that they took it from the energy companies, not the consumers. See, they are super people friendly, taxing the corporations, yeah, the corporations must be suffering so bad right now. Also, if you're actually taxing the corporations, why is there no carbon tax? This is because they know, they know that the carbon tax are targeting corporations, where else this value added tax is actually targeting the consumers. Yes, the government is super caring. Okay, we spend a lot of time on taxes. How about generation fuel costs? What fuel does Italy consume? Well, as we all know, Europe has been pushing green renewable energy to everyone. And of course, they are super far ahead of the curve. And this is demonstrated with Italy's main fuel source, natural gas. Wait, what, what, what? Italy loves gas? Oh boy. Do they actually buy gas from Russia anyway? Not much. But that didn't stop them from using the Russian gas as the excuse. And also what's this? Italy imports energy? Since long long time ago? 
That means that they are far from being energy independent. Energy independence. Consistently buying energy from your neighbors is a surefire way to ensure that your energy prices are always higher than theirs. Mainly because any country will get the flag if they sell energy to their neighbors cheaper than what they sell to their own citizens. At least with the European interconnection, Italy has options to choose where they buy their electricity from. Italy is not a fully liberalized market. Yes, I am shocked as well. I was under the assumption that the whole of Europe is running on energy markets. Well, that teaches us not to assume anything and do your own research. I do not have any idea if prices will go up or down if it gets liberalized. And then there's transmission costs. Transmission costs is about the, how you're going to build these transmission lines to get electricity to people. Mountain terrains. Yeah, this makes it tough for transmission companies to construct the towers. Or what we call in the industry, erect the towers. Also, it's much more tougher for maintenance, higher KPEX and higher OPEX. So yes, that is the three components of why electricity in Italy is so expensive. Having high electricity prices is actually not a bad thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, listen to me, listen to me. Like, if you talk to enough people, there will be someone who's going to tell you that cocaine is good. So hear me out for a bit, okay? High electricity prices is actually the main driving factor for electricity consumers to install their very own solar panels, turning them from being just consumers to become producer-consumer, prosumers. And in a market environment, that is actually the main driver of accelerating distributed energy transition. Due to expensive, unstable, and uncertain retail electricity prices that can be affected by gas supply being cut or relying on neighboring country for imports, consumers can do the math and the risk analysis and just install some panels themselves. There's a very strong correlation between energy prices and the adoption of distributed renewable energy production. If the retail energy prices are super super cheap, nobody would even be thinking about producing the energy themselves. It's like if eating out is so affordable, less people would cook. And if eating out is very expensive, more people would cook themselves. Some people would be quick to jump to conclusions on this correlation. Higher amount of renewable energy leads to higher energy prices. They would say that installing renewable energy is the cause of energy prices going up. Here, I have a different theory. You may or may not know it, but almost every country in the world is subsidizing conventional fuel for energy production. So it was never an even playing field for solar and wind to compete with in the first place. The reason why renewable energy sources would have a chance to compete in the financial aspect would be that traditional fuel gets a bit too expensive to a point where the cost is almost similar. In a similar situation, some smarty pants would oppose the idea of an energy market as it statistically increases the energy prices. What is not being considered here is that non-market energy prices takes up a large amount of government subsidies. Subsidies that are poured into oil and gas companies. Since subsidies are not suitable in the market environment, naturally, the prices are no longer suppressed or oppressed and will return to their true prices. You're watching the Funsi channel.